Phantom is another cryptocurrency that I see is on its way to zero. I found critical, obvious problems that you can do your research and see this stuff within a few minutes. And I think Phantom is very obviously going to perform poorly and trend towards zero because of the things I share with you here and more. And I'm, I don't like to be out here destroying these altcoins. All right, I do sometimes, but I do this because I'm angry that y'all are getting ripped off with all these fake cryptos and narratives and nobody, hardly anybody, wants to create videos like this saying why something is going to go to zero because there's so much money in hyping stuff up. And that's, and I'd rather, I'd rather, I'm angry at these cryptos ripping you all off. So let's dig right into the absolute worst part of Phantom. Right now, as I was taking just a few minutes, as I'm filming this live on Twitch, you all said, please do a review. And uh, as you can see on jerrybanfield.com, my Twitch, like, please, please, Jerry, do a review on Phantom. So I actually held Phantom last year and I forgot I even had it in a wallet and just dumped it recently. And I'm glad I got out now because Phantom has like this, that it's up at all in the last year. It's like people don't don't see what's coming, but it's pretty obvious just looking at it quickly. And Phantom did almost nothing for a few couple years. Then it had the bull run insanity pump. Almost all the gains are gone from that. And uh, it had a little pump recently, but this this looks like a huge obvious problem for Phantom. Look at this. Phantom Foundation announcing Sonic Labs Innovator Fund. We're committing this, uh, this if you look at a current price, about $100 million worth of Phantom to accelerate migration to Sonic. You're like, what is Sonic? Sonic is there. Sonic is essentially a new chain. Get this, Phantom is committing a hundred up to a hundred million dollars to get people to move off of Phantom over to Sonic. It's gonna have a brand new chain. This is a new chain that is, just from reading what it says here, is not going to nearly be as advanced as Internet Computer Protocol already is. So if you go to internetcomputer.org, this is what I'm invested in because there's nothing that's a fraction of this good. It has a Bitcoin Layer 2 and an Ethereum Layer 2 native Ethereum integration. I've done so many videos about it. But this new chain looks like it is vastly inferior to internet computer. And Phantom's gonna dump $100 million worth of Phantom into pushing people off of Phantom over to Sonic. So where does that leave Phantom investors? Well, basically, if you're not paying attention, you uh, it looks like your Phantom's easily gonna go to zero. Obvious critical problem that you can see within 20 minutes of doing your own research. This The Sonic chain will be a layer one platform with a nice Ethereum layer two bridge and it's ridiculous it's saying it, it, it's the first of its kind. And this was designed by one person, apparently. Maybe here's a team, but it says it says it was designed by by one guy. And oh, and his team here, led by DeFi Pioneer, who is on the Sonic Foundation team. So basically, these two two of the people listed on the Sonic team have on the Phantom Foundation team page. They've spun their own blockchain up and Phantom, they're going to dump huge amounts of Phantom to get people to move over to Sonic. Wow. This is the end of Phantom as I see it. But Phantom is not even that good to begin with. Look at the documentation. And you just look at the, the node, node providers. Now it says it's not recommended to store wallets and managed servers, and it's recommended to only use unmanaged servers for running validator nodes. And then they list a bunch of managed node providers, including all of these. And then, oh, look, you can just run a phantom node on Amazon Web Services. Wow, this is this is really amazing crypto decentralization. You you can even run it on Google or Microsoft if, or DigitalOcean. You know, this are they already host the majority of the internet. So Great, great job, Phantom, in the documentation recommending, yeah, just use Amazon Web Services, you know. We're not really concerned with decentralization here unless you, you know, you look at their stuff and then they're talking about decentralization. And then if you look at the documentation, Amazon Web Services, since when is that decentralization? 
And then you look in the documentation about how to do an NFT on Phantom. It's the same old story. IPFS, many of these IPFS nodes go right back to Amazon Web Services themselves. So the as Elon Musk joked with Joe Rogan, you know, uh, NFT is obviously worthless if the actual resource you're buying on chain is hosted off chain and all you've got on the chain is a link to something on IPFS. You know, the, the Elon Musk, one of the richest people in the world, sees you know, that's worthless. That's, you know, he's not going to buy or get into NFTs. And uh, you've got internet computer. It'd be one thing if you don't know about internet computer, but internet computer, you can put a gigabyte on chain for just $5 a year. You can put an entire video game. You can put whole videos. You can put huge amounts of code, hundreds of gigabytes of code directly on internet computer. And it's stored in smart contracts directly on ICP. Like this is the most advanced technology in the world. Now, if this is what Sonic was launching, I might be excited, but this sounds like they've pretty much... Now, this is my analysis based on, you know, what I'm seeing Phantom do and the two people listed here. It seems like they they are seeing that their profits are going to be limited from Phantom going forward. That, you know, that most crypto altcoins, when they're brand new and... Uh, they haven't had their bull run and there's maximum speculation, that's when they really go nuts. And after that, they tend to just go to zero from there. It looks like to me that the Phantom team is seeing that the Phantom blockchain itself is done, that there's no point in investing a hundred million dollars worth of Phantom into actually building the Phantom blockchain up. So they're gonna move people over to Sonic, which was developed by the, the Phantom people. And there's only eight people on the team here. And th there's only even eight people on here. I wonder if Joe Epstein's related to any of the other Epstein's on here. But that's a whole nother video. And this this is the blockchain looks like it's going to have very similar properties to Phantom with some what to me appear to be very minor upgrades. But the real goal of this is to launch a brand new token and they're going to migrate between Phantom and Sonic on a one-to-one -one basis. But, but for all the people who aren't paying attention to this, all the people who are sitting there and are not paying attention that this new token is coming, all of them are going to lose everything in Phantom. So uh, this is intended to try and artificially manipulate the price up by screwing everybody over who's not paying attention, by screwing everybody over who doesn't migrate. And, uh, you know, this all the, all the branding for Phantom is going to get lost. So the this is going, these are going to be technically different blockchains. So everybody on Phantom, your actual FTM is almost certainly going to zero. Because if you don't migrate it over to S, then you're going to lose it. And if you mess up the migration, if you forget about the migration, if you don't do it, you could just log on and see one day that your, your Phantom has went to zero and you have no idea. There are going to be people who have no idea that they could swap their Phantom over to Sonic. And that, that to me is, I can't stand seeing that happen to investors over and over again. I've talked to some of y'all in one-on-one -on -one calls on my website and you've lost thousands of dollars on, on shady migrations like these. Where, And this, this is how to me, limited the technology is. Because on internet computer, this technology is so advanced, they've done thousands and thousands of proposals to actually upgrade the blockchain to make the to add functionality to it. Like they added a chain key Bitcoin. They added an entire layer two to the blockchain. They added an Ethereum integration. They added an entire layer, they added two layer twos to the actual protocol. And you compare that upgrade process where Phantom has to launch an entirely separate chain to truly improve their technology and we're not, this will be drastically technically inferior to what internet computers already been doing for three years. There's no Bitcoin layer two in here, is there? So this to me looks slim shady. Brain dead like Jim Brady, I'm an M80, uh, uh, excuse me. And then you look over at their YouTube channel, like they're already seem to be abandoning the Phantom brand. The, you've got now, you know, they've done the last video, the only video they did, they put a Sonic showreel up for one minute. They haven't put another video up on their YouTube channel for three months. Then they're talking Pyth Network 
at ETH Denver, why are they not talking Phantom? Like, if you compare that to Definity, the, the foundation behind the internet computer, I mean, look at the sheer quantity of videos they crank out. You know, look look at, and some of these, like, this is a big technological breakthrough, and this pre is presented from, uh, if you go to the Definity page, this is presented from a staff member, a team member who, you know, you might, you might have to look for her for a minute. Like, you know, eight people, like compare eight people, this, the Phantom Foundation, eight people. Look, compare to Definity, this is eight people. Now look at how deep Definity's talent roster is. And Mary's presenting on the Definity channel. I mean, she's way down here on the, on the picture. And she she presents a video on here showing, you know, proof of verifiable credentials, which this is an amazing breakthrough feature. You know, one of many things. Look at all these videos. You have the you can see Dominic Williams speaking. Look at all these videos on the Definity YouTube channel. This this is what real, you know, this is what a real team that's making the best technology in crypto looks like. And th this, this to me is is a small team with, you know, the the best thing they can possibly think to do is launch a new blockchain, which looks to be very similar to the existing blockchain, and uh, screw everybody over who's not paying attention on Phantom. And uh, that that is that's exactly why I get so pissed off at these cryptos acting like they're decentralized when the cloud providers on Amazon, this is outrageous. This is outrageous. And somebody needs to call this behavior out, but almost nobody wants to call this behavior out because you get paid to talk nice. You don't get paid to tell the truth. You don't get paid to be critical. But you know how many times are negative reviews on Amazon helpful for you to not buy something you don't need in the first place? If you look at a Phantom Explorer, you'll see... You know, there's not even a lot happening on the Phantom blockchain right now. I mean, look at these blocks. One transaction, one transaction, two transactions. Look at the internet computer dashboard. Thousands of transactions a second. It's hosting websites like jerrybanfield.com. And the new Sonic blockchain is looks like it's going to be more of the same. And I wouldn't be surprised in four years from now... If you get the, the same two people launch another new blockchain and they move off of that one. So this is why, I, you know, Phantom, very high confidence that Phantom will be going to zero very soon. The sonic migration will destroy Phantom. Anyone who's not paying attention is going to get wrecked. So if you found this video helpful, I invite you to join us on jerrybanfield.com. I filmed this live on Twitch because you asked me on Twitch to review Phantom. And uh, here's my review of Phantom, absolute dumpster fire. And uh, if you want to ask me to review cryptos, follow on Twitch. It's just like YouTube or X, except you can talk to me live. You can chat with me only while I'm live. If you want to chat with me while I'm not live, there's only two ways to do it. Open chat or a one-on-one -on -one call. Never interact with anything, you know, any DMs or stuff you get from these fake bot profiles on other platforms. It is only open chat or one-on-one -on -one call or Twitch if you want to talk to me. If you'd like to make sure you see all my videos, drop me a follow on X. Make sure to follow my real account, which is at Jerry Banfield spelled correctly. And I post my new videos to all my new videos directly to this account. There's a lot of fake ones I can't get rid of right now on X. And you can also, I have eight YouTube channels. It's on my crypto channel on YouTube. If you really want to get to know me, check out my autobiography channel, my thoughts channel, if you're into gaming, I get a gaming channel, etc. So thanks for watching, and I'll hope to see you on jerrybanfield.com soon.